Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This is YouTube blogger Nicole Jacqueline talking about contact lenses which are small round pieces of plastic you put directly on your eyeball instead of wearing glasses. Listen and fill in the gaps of what she says. My contacts often because they're, I love contacts, but my eyes reacted to them very poorly recently. So I've had them, I've had contacts for such a long time, but now they just itch and they burn at all times of the year. I need to get my contacts Often because they're, I love contacts, but my eyes reacted to them very poorly recently. So I've had them, I've had contacts for such a long time, but now they just itch and they burn at all times of the year. I need to get my contacts often because they're, I love contacts, but my eyes reacted to them very poorly recently. So I've had them, I've had contacts for such a long time, but now they just itch and they burn at all times of the year. If you're watching with another person or your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. Here are the answers. Number one, because. Number two, but. Number three, so. Number four, and. Those were hard to hear though. Why is that? It's because she was using the weak form of those words. And weak forms are the reduced form of function words. They're also known as grammar words, which are the smaller, less important words that help build meaning. Some examples of function words are conjunctions, auxiliary verbs, prepositions, articles, and pronouns. Why are weak forms important to know about? Of the 100 most frequently spoken words in English, 50 are function words that have weak forms. And you'll hear weak forms more often in spoken English than you'll hear the full forms. So weak forms are actually the standard in spoken English and full forms are the exception. So if you expect to hear weak forms, it will make listening to spoken English easier for you. Why are weak forms hard to hear? Well, there are several reasons. First, they are not the stressed words in a sentence. The important content words are the ones that get the stress, the emphasis in a sentence. Weak forms are shorter, they're pronounced quickly, and they're not pronounced clearly, as you heard in that video. And when they're surrounded by more important words in connected speech, some of their sounds disappear completely, and the vowel often changes to a schwa sound. Quickly on the schwa, it is uh, represented by an upside-down E in phonemic script, and it sounds like uh, 
It's just a very weak sound, a sound you might make if somebody punched you in the stomach, just uh. It's a very easy sound to make. It's a very relaxed sound. It doesn't require a lot of work from your mouth. And so it's the most common vowel sound in English, even though it's not one of the English letters, A, E, I, O, or U. But many unstressed vowels sound like the schwa in English. So to give you an example, here in this phrase, a million Americans, five uh, schwas are in there. Out of seven syllables, five contain the schwa sound. A million Americans. So only the stressed syllables don't have the schwa. They have the full vowel sound here, mil and mare. Everywhere else it's just a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a. Uh. It's very common, commonly happens in English. So in this video we're looking at conjunctions, which a quick review, those are words that join parts of a sentence. So um, over here on the left side we've got the full form of conjunctions. These are five very common conjunctions and then they all have a weak form. So the full form is because, but the weak form is just cause, cause. The full form is but, but the weak form is just b, b. The full form is so, and the weak form is just s, s. The full form is and, and the weak form is just un. Un. A common example of the weak form of and is the British dish fish and chips. They don't say fish and chips. You usually just hear fish and chips, fish and chips, fish and chips. And a final one that was not in the video but is a common conjunction. The full form is or and the weak form is just er, er. So practicing saying uh, these weak forms can help you hear them when other people use them. So listen and repeat after me. And notice that every single one has the schwa sound, that upside down E, just that uh sound. It's a really weak, easy sound. Uh. So here we go. Cuz. Cuz. Un, un, er, er. So to help you hear these weak forms of conjunctions in connected speech, I'm going to say five sentences. Pause the video if you need to, to number a paper or document one through five. I'll say each one fast, then slower, then fast. Here we go. Number one. Remember, you only need to write the conjunctions, not the entire sentence. Every week I buy fruit and vegetables so I have healthy food at home. Every week I buy fruit and vegetables so I have healthy food at home. Every week I buy fruit and vegetables so I have healthy food at home. Number two. They make a lot of noise but they're friendly neighbors. They make a lot of noise, but they're friendly neighbors. They make a lot of noise, but they're friendly neighbors. Number three. I know her secret because she told my brother and me. I know her secret because she told my brother and me.
I know her secret because she told my brother and me. Number four. I'd like to travel to Thailand or Oman. I'd like to travel to Thailand or Oman. I'd like to travel to Thailand or Oman. Number five. Mark and Jen aren't coming because their daughter is sick and in the hospital. Mark and Jen aren't coming because their daughter is sick and in the hospital. Mark and Jen aren't coming because their daughter is sick and in the hospital. So again, if you're watching with someone else or your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. Go back and play parts if you need to. Here are the answers. So since saying a weak form can help you to hear it when others use it, please listen and repeat after me. I'll do the short phrase and then the entire sentence. Number one, fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables. So I. So I. Try to make say the, the weak form, not the full form. Every week I buy fruit and vegetables so I have healthy food at home. Number two. Noise but there. Noise but there. They make a lot of noise but they're friendly neighbors. Number three, secret cause she, secret cause she, brother and me, brother and me. I know her secret cause she told my brother and me. Number four. Thailand or Oman? Thailand or Oman? I'd like to travel to Thailand or Oman. Number five, Mark and Jen. Mark and Jen. Coming cause there. Coming cause there. Sicken in. Sicken in. Mark and Jen aren't coming because their daughter is sick and in the hospital. So now listen to Nicole Jacqueline again and see if you can hear the weak forms of these four conjunctions this time. My contacts update because they're I love contacts, but my eyes reacted to them very poorly recently. So I've had them I've had contacts for such a long time, but now they just itch and they burn at all times of the year. I need to get my contacts updated because they're I love contacts, but my eyes reacted to them very poorly recently. So I've had them, I've had contacts for such a long time, but now they just itch and they burn at all times of the year. 
So to review, weak forms are unstressed in a sentence, shorter, pronounced quickly and not clearly, some sounds disappear completely, and the vowel often changes to the schwa sound, which is just a. Uh. And the examples we looked at in this video were the conjunctions because, that sounds like cuz, but, that sounds like b, so, that sounds like s, and, that sounds like un, and or, that sounds like er. So now it's your turn. Write sentences with these five conjunctions, because, but, so, and, or, and then say them to your partner or teacher and classmates with the weak form. And now for the real world challenge. Listen for an example of a weak form of one of these five conjunctions, because, but, so, and, or, in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.